sorry. It's lovely. Very lovely. Thank you. Something to warn you up? Ah, uh, please. To a beautiful lady. To a lovely day. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, wh what did you mean by that? Well, I'm sure that there might be those whose circumstances are such that well, a beautiful day like this would have no meaning. Everything being relative, don't you agree? Uh, yeah, uh, sure, I suppose. <laughs> Mr. Walker, so, uh, tell me about yourself. I'm retired. Mr. Walker retired. Oh. Well, that sounds interesting. It isn't. You know, I'm really beginning to dislike her. Her? Lawrence. Her, Lawrence? My wife. Oh. Well, it's common law, of course. Getting to be such a nag. Really? I think it's because I'm spending more time at home. Ah. Because you're retired. Right. She doesn't like the way my hair is cut. She doesn't like the clothes I wear. I sleep too late in the mornings. I tell you, it's getting me down. Why didn't you go back to work? I told you I didn't like working. Yes, I understand that, but if you want to, you know, keep things happy with Lawrence, it might be a good idea. <laughs> Lawrence? No, Terry. Oh, um, you mean the dead girl? I told her my problem several times. She couldn't come up with an answer. Um, Where are you going? I don't think we have anything else to say to each other, Mr. Walker. A hundred dollars? What's this for? You gave me an answer to my problem. I'm very relieved. <laughs> well, I'm very relieved myself. Please, take your money. It was too bad we didn't meet years ago. Things might have been different for me. Well, you know what they say, timing's everything. Say hello to Lawrence for me, will you? We appreciate you coming down here, Dr. Eggers. No, no problem. I, I need to get out more, actually. Um, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> no problem. Uh, nice aroma. A snick. I beg your pardon? It's called snick. That's short for uh, six nights in Copenhagen. Uh, well, yes, yes. It, uh, I like it here. Uh, I do. I, I like it here very much. I'm talking about the case we're working on. Do you see any sort of set pattern? Yeah. Um, well, uh, the fact that the uh, victims were all blonde prostitutes indicates that we're possibly dealing with a Jack the Ripper personality. That's a psychological condition whereby a person, in this case a man, develops a hatred for a particular woman. Excuse me, Doctor. Once he's killed a substitute, then why does he go on and kill other people? Hmm. Well, is there any possibility that this person might eventually get it out of his system and stop killing? Unlikely. Well, you say blondes have more fun, huh? <laughs> 